Welcome to Brain Stuff, a production of iHeartRadio. Hey, Brain Stuff, Lauren Vogelbaum here. If you ever looked at the night sky in the Northern Hemisphere, you've probably noticed a bright star that the rest of the heavens appears to move around. What you're seeing is Polaris, also known as the North Star, which is approximately 430 light years away from Earth and is part of the constellation Ursa Minor. The North Star is thus named because its location in the night sky is almost directly over the North Pole. We spoke via email with Rick Feinberg, a Harvard-trained astronomer who is now press officer of the American Astronomical Society. He said, So, if you were to stand at the North Pole, latitude 90 degrees north, at night and look straight up, you'd see Polaris directly overhead. From other latitudes in the Northern Hemisphere, if you face due north at night and look the same angle above the horizon as your latitude, for example, look about halfway up, that's 45 degrees if you live in Portland, Oregon, at latitude 45 degrees north, you'll see Polaris shining there. Polaris is attention-getting because, unlike all the other stars in the sky, Polaris is in the same location every night from dusk till dawn, neither rising nor setting. Its presence leads some people to think of it mistakenly as the brightest star in the sky. It's actually the 48th brightest. Even so, it's about 2,500 times as luminous as our sun because it's a massive supergiant with a diameter nearly 40 times larger than the sun and five times the mass. But Polaris also happens to be far away for a star that's visible with the naked eye, which reduces its brightness in our night sky. So who first noticed the North Star? That's a complicated question. Ancient Egyptian astronomers in the Old Kingdom between 4100 and 4700 years ago had a North Star, which they symbolically represented with a female hippopotamus, according to Julia Majli's book, Architecture, Astronomy, and Sacred Landscape in Ancient Egypt. But this star was not Polaris. That's because what humans perceive as the North Star has changed over time. We also spoke via email with Christopher Palma, a former teaching professor in astronomy who's currently associate dean of the Eberly College of Science at Penn State University. He said, if you picture a line connecting Earth's north and south poles as the axis around which Earth rotates, that axis is slowly moving in its own circle. Often, this is compared to what happens when a top or a spinning coin starts to wobble before falling over on their side. He explained that because of this wobble, the imaginary line that goes from the North Pole to the South Pole traces out a circle once every 26,000 years. So, Palma continued, over very long time periods, more than a few thousand years, the North Pole moves with respect to the stars. So thousands of years ago, people on Earth saw the star Thuban in the constellation Draco appear due north instead of Polaris. Polaris. 